Mahatma Gandhi University, one of the major universities in Kerala, is situated in Kottayam, the land of latex, lakes and letters. The university in the name of our father of nation was established on 2nd October 1983 and is now set on the sprawling 110-acre Priyadashni Hills campus at Adirampura. Over the last three decades, Mahatma Gandhi University has made remarkable achievements in the field of interdisciplinary teaching and research and has equipped with excellent facilities to carry out advanced research in frontier areas. In this regard, the support given by the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India through the DST PERS program has significantly boosted up the achievements of Mahatma Gandhi University. Promotion of University Research and Scientific Excellence, that is PERS program, is a prestigious program of Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, launched in 2008, aiming at the rejuvenation of science research in university sector. Mahatma Gandhi University has been uh, very fortunate to have both uh, DST PERS 1 and PERS 2. Initially, uh, we have coordinated this program in such a way that to have a kind of central instrumentation facility for all the analytical work. And this particular uh, central facility is being used by several researchers, not only from our campus, uh, researchers from all over the state, also outside the state. So, uh, in general, this was very helpful uh, for the university. And in addition, uh, many of our faculty members utilizing this central facility, they could uh, submit several projects. So overall, uh, this was very successful and we are very happy about it. As the Vice Chancellor of Mahatma Gandhi University, I'm extremely thankful to the Department of Science and Technology in Delhi for the PERS funding. Through the PERS funding, we could establish a state-of-the-art laboratories and we could get 10 instruments and installed and six are on the way to install. Because of PERS funding, university could get lots of awards and recognitions. We got two times the Chancellor's Award and we are ranked uh, 30 in a year of ranking. And uh, MQ has become the best, the most productive university in the state of Kerala. We have the maximum number of publications, maximum number of patents, and the, the, the faculties could bring lots of uh, interesting projects. These are all because of the uh, PERS funding. And we are also put all the instruments in a new complex we have recently made called Academia Complex. And this facility will be open to faculty members, students of the university and all the colleges. Even industries also come and use our facilities. Therefore, this will accelerate the, the, the economic condition of the state. We are extremely thankful to DST for the wonderful funding. Department of Science and Technology, Government of India awarded to Mahatma Gandhi University an incentive of 9.9 .9 crore rupees for four years under the second phase of this scheme. It is purely based on excellent performance made by Mahatma Gandhi University in its first phase. The period of the program is 2017 to 2021. Now we are running in the third year of this program. The major beneficiaries of this scheme include five science departments of Mahatma Gandhi University. They are School of Biosciences, School of Chemical Sciences, School of Pure and Applied Physics, School of Environmental Sciences and School of Computer Sciences. For transparent and easy implementation of program, University constituted two major committee, Project Implementation Committee or PIG, and Technical Committee. Project Implementation Committee comprise Honorable Vice Chancellor as Chairperson, Coordinator, Heads of Science Department and a faculty member from each Science Department as members. Technical Committee include all PIG members, two external experts, Deputy Registrar 2 of Finance and Deputy Registrar 2 of Academy. Major portion of the grant is utilized for procurement of sophisticated instruments based on the trust area of participated department with multidisciplinary facet. First year we procured stereo microscope, protein purification system, refrigerated centrifuge, isothermal titration colorimetry, gas chromatography mass spectrometer, 
UEV spectrophotometer for a transform infrared spectrometer. We also procure special instruments such as mobile ambient air quality monitoring system and ICCD camera. Intensified charge coupled device camera or ICCD camera is used for understanding the laser induced plasma dynamics. Another major facility is high performance computing. This facility provides an efficient computational platform for the development of novel approaches and methodologies by the entire research and scientific community in the university. Uh, the mobile ambient air quality monitoring system is a van equipped with very sophisticated equipments to measure the air quality. So this instrument is very much useful in measuring the air quality throughout Kerala. It has also a social relevance. While we measure the air quality at different places, we also create a public awareness about the air pollution. For instance, we have done the air quality monitoring <coughs> at different colleges and schools so that we could give awareness to the students and general public about the air quality and the air pollution. In the second year, greenhouse analyzer has been installed. Other sanctioned instruments include flash chromatography, pulse steel gel electrophoresis, benchtop NMR, powder X-ray diffractometer, metallurgical microscope and all these instruments are in the final stage of installation. Total number of publication with high impact factor reflect the impact of PERS program. Year 1 and 2 of DST PERS program, we have generated 550 peer-reviewed publications with average impact factor of 3 and highest impact factor of 8.456. During this period, 88 PhDs are produced from science department. Large number of students get qualified at various national level tests. 22 patents are filed during this period. More than this, our students getting recognized at various platforms. Strength of a leading university is its academic community. Our faculty members have received lot of awards and recognitions. I can proudly say that presently our university is governing by three eminent personality from our own science departments. With the support of DST PERS program, we have organized two national seminars, five workshops in the first year and one international conference, two national conference, three workshops and one short term training program in the second year. The instrumentation facility generated through this program will also help to offer summer training and project work of students from state and national institutions. The program will also help to generate 19 manpower as research fellows and technical assistant. Uh, the mobile ambient air quality monitoring system was recently used at Marad where the implosion of flats was, uh, I mean, has taken place. So we could measure the dust and particulate pollution at Marad during this incident. Uh, the infrastructure developed through DST PUS program has helped Mahatma Gandhi University to become research collaborator of Government of India's very prestigious expeditions like Arctic Expedition, Southern Ocean Expedition, including Antarctic waters recently. In conclusion, it is very clear that the sophisticated infrastructural facilities and dynamic academic activities established through the DST PERS Phase 2 support will certainly strive the Mahatma Gandhi University to fulfill the advanced research needs of the region and also to make over the university facet of recognitions and achievements.